Hello friends, today we will talk about a story called Batman, The Beginning, which starts in Gotham City, where the whole city is celebrating Halloween. However, in the midst of this, a masked serial killer named the Riddler murders Mayor Don Michelle Jr. As soon as billionaire Bruce Wayne, who has been serving as Batman for the past two years to protect the city, hears the news. He joins forces with the Gotham City Police to investigate the murder. He has left some clues and patterns behind so that Batman can solve them and reach him. Then, Lieutenant James Gordon receives information that the Riddler is now after Batman. Next night, the Riddler kills Commissioner Pete Savage and leaves another clue for Batman. Batman and Gordon discover that the Riddler left a thumb drive in Michelle's car containing pictures of an extramarital affair between him and a girl named Annika Kozolov. These pictures were from Iceberg Lounge Nightclub, run by crime boss Carmen Falcone's lieutenant, Oswald the Penguin Cobblepot. When they go to interrogate Penguin, he claims to know nothing about it. Then Batman notices that Selina Kyle, Annika's roommate who works as a waitress in the club, is absent. Since Annika is missing, Batman sends Selina to Iceberg Lounge to find out more. The she learns that District Attorney Gil Coulson is on parole just like Savage Falcone. While solving the clues, Batman reaches Coulson but the Riddler kidnaps Coulson before Batman reaches him. He straps a timed collar bomb around Coulson's neck and leaves him there to disrupt Michelle's funeral. When Batman arrives, the Riddler calls Coulson's phone and threatens to detonate the bomb if he doesn't answer all three riddles. By doing so, the Riddler intended to expose all of Coulson's sins and his mafia links, but Coulson refuses to answer the third riddle, resulting in a massive blast. By now, Batman had understood that the people being killed have connections with each other and some kind of drug dealing organizations. Afterward, here in the GCPD, they learn from a secret informant that a drug racket, when exposed, led to the failure of gangster Salvatore Moroni's plan and his death. Batman and Gordon suspect that the secret informant who repeatedly provides them with such information is not someone else but Penguin. While tracking a drug deal, they discover that Moroni's operation is now being taken over by Falcon, and several corrupt GCPD officers are involved in this drug deal. Meanwhile, Selina attempts to steal money from a car and discovers the body of Annika in the trunk. Batman spots Penguin and starts pursuing him, but Gordon informs him that Penguin is not the informant. Batman and Gordon decode clues from the Riddler and arrive at an orphanage that was funded by Thomas and Martha Wayne. Bruce's parents, whose murder also occurred. Here they learn that the Riddler actually dislikes the Wayne family because they cause troubles for his own family. Meanwhile, at Bruce's home, his butler, Alfred Pennyworth, opens a letter addressed to Bruce, which detonates upon opening. As a result, Alfred is hospitalized. During this time, Bruce learns the truth from his butler that Thomas, who was competing for the position of mayor had actually hired Falcon to kill a reporter because the reporter had published an article about Martha's mental illness history. Alfred explains that Thomas had only asked Falcon to threaten the reporter into silence, but Falcon ended up killing him. Afterward, Thomas planned to turn himself and Falcon over to the police, but Falcon killed both Thomas and Martha to keep them silent. Batman and Gordon arrive to locate Falcon but they find out that Selina was after him. Batman learns from Selina that Falcon is her father and he killed Annika because she was the informant. She attempts to kill Falcon, but Batman and Gordon stop her. Gordon arrests Falcon, but the Riddler shoots him with a sniper rifle, killing him. The Riddler is captured, and upon removing his mask, his true identity is revealed as a forensic accountant, Edward Nashton comes forward in front of everyone. He has been imprisoned in Arkham State Hospital, where he tells Batman that he started killing corrupt people inspired by Batman. Batman responds by saying that there is a difference between them because Nashton believes in killing people to eliminate evil from the city while Batman believes in killing evil itself. Nashton reveals his intentions to Batman, stating that he has planted bombs in cars around Gotham and is planning to kill the next mayor, Bellareal, for which his people are already on the job. 
he has placed the bombs in such a way that when they explode, the walls near Gotham's coastlines break, causing the water from the sea to flood the city and causing a flood. Meanwhile, Nashton's people go to kill Bellareal, but Batman and Selina successfully stop them and instead help the people trapped in the flood. In the meantime, Nashton befriends a fellow inmate named Joker in another cell, and Selina, leaving Batman and Gotham City behind, gives hope to the people that Batman is trying to create a better Gotham City. The film concludes here. For more interesting videos like this, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to like and comment on this video.